This is a video about uh, Visio 2010 campus network diagrams. This is part one. Uh, we'll be customizing uh, containers in this part and be followed by a series of other videos about doing a complete diagram. I start out with um, one thing we want to check is to make sure that uh, you have gone and set uh, your developer mode on. So scroll down to the general on the advanced tab in Visio options. Make sure that you have checked run in developer mode. Uh, now we're going to uh, insert a uh, container. Choose this particular one and we want to go and turn off the heading. So that uh, is an important part of doing this. And the next thing is that um, we're going to add a data field to the container. So we'll go to data, define shape data, and this is going to be a data field called building. You want to make sure to not only put in the label, but also the name. Okay, now I want to view the task pane with shape data. You can see here we have the, the building field. Now um, I'm going to uh, get customize this a little bit by uh, right clicking and we're going to look at the shape sheet for uh, this. And this opens up and we scroll down and you'll see a line here that says shape data. And for building, uh, and this is the data field that we just added. And we're going to look at the value of this, and we're going to put a custom. As we start typing, we get a, a number of options, and we want page name. Double click on that, and then add the final uh, parentheses. Hit the uh, accept, and then we can close out the shape sheet. Now you can see that as we look at the shape data in the building, we'll see this uh, page one showing up here. And we're going to rename the page. So uh, assuming this is a network diagram with a lot of pages in it, uh, we're going to name this page uh, we'll hit here uh, Shift R. And um, we're going to put in here just a, a name. I'm going to call this uh, Old main hall, could be anything else. For now, you'll see that um, on our shape data, that the name, the name of the sheet is now showing up as the uh, building name right here. Uh, the next thing um, we want to do is uh, display that text uh, on the container. And we will do that. We're going to zoom in a little bit, and uh, and uh, you can see that we've selected the container. Well, once we select, if you click it one more time, we're now actually selecting the uh, text box. We're, gonna, uh, we're going to go and do insert field, and here we're going to um, go with a. Uh, custom formula and I'm going to type in here the name of the sheet, the main sheet for this container and since this is the first object we've, we've added it's going to be sheet 1 uh, we put an exclamation mark in there and then as we type prop which is for properties, shape properties we're now given a choice of the building as the field which we already put in. We'll double click on that. And hit OK. Now you can see that um, well, the name of, of the building is showing up as our title. And we like to move that a little bit. We're going to go to this text control and 
move the name up like that. Okay, so this is uh, got a container that we're going to be using for a building. And uh, I'm going to take this container and copy it. Just start dragging it over. I'm going to hold down the control key and we've copied it. And we shape this container now. We're going to modify a little bit to use this uh, actually as a, as a data closet. So I'm going to uh, right click, go to data, define shape data. I'm going to add another field. Uh, I'm going to call this location. Again, being uh, careful to put in both the label and the name. Now I'm going to put a uh, default value in here. I'm going to assume that we're numbering a uh, data closet. So I'm going to use a two-letter code for the building. Show two letters there, then a number for the floor, and then another letter for uh, sequential numbers of uh, data closets on a floor. And now that we've done that, I want to go and change that, that text. So I just uh, clicked on it and I uh, click one more time. And now I've got that text selected. I'm going to go and up to insert. And go to my custom formula. Now, um, I'm going to change this. You may notice that we had typed in sheet one and it now says sheet six. That's because we copied it and it automatically changed that. So we're going to change this from building to we start typing. We'll get a choice for a location. And also want to add some uh, words here. I'm going to type in um, quotation mark and data closet. space after it, quote, and an and sign, and OK. You can see now it's uh, labeling a data closet, and then it's got the, the number. So if we select um, this, we'll see that we're showing the building name, which it's picking up from the name of the page that it's on. And then we're also seeing uh, the location. And that's the location that we'll be able to just type in here by changing this. So for instance, I might uh, go in here and change this. Maybe our code is, is OM for this building. And maybe on floor one, and this could be uh, closet A on that floor. You see how it shows up on a closet. Uh, I'm going to zoom out a little bit here. And look at uh, actually making this container a bit larger. Now we've actually got uh, the data closet within the building. So depending on how many floors or whatever, we can change the layout in here or that. So basically, that's the way we want to um, configure uh, these containers. And then we'll be copying the containers, uh, both increasing the number of data closets in the building, as well as copying this onto additional pages for the uh, network layout. And uh, We'll get on with the rest of this in uh, the next video.